is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. Persona 5 Scramble, which is supposed to be the canonical sequel to Persona 5, but it's not an RPG. Instead, it's in a, uh... A combat game that's kind of a mashup like Dynasty Warriors. You know how Dynasty Warriors gets all these different uh, IPs and game franchises and makes games. Remember that the Zelda one? Well, this one's supposed to be Persona 5. <clears throat> um, so the Japanese version released. It's not out yet for Western audiences. In fact, we don't even know if and when it'll get translated and it'll be released for you know English speakers. But the Japanese version released and Atlas released the most ridiculous restrictive list of streaming criteria I think I've ever seen in my entire life. They're basically like... First of all, you can't use your own capture devices and capture software to broadcast or, or stream or record the game. Not allowed. <clears throat> okay. Then they're like, if you're using the in-console uh, streaming services or capture devices that are inside of, like the, the Xbox One or the PS4, you also have to clearly label every single video that has a cutscene in it, stating that there's spoilers inside of it. You actually they also want you to put like copyright Atlas, copyright this and that, all over your videos. <clears throat> Basically, it's pretty ridiculous. Like, it's it's the most demanding, uh, you know, restricting, ridiculous thing ever when it comes to live streaming. I don't think anyone can even deny, like, it just looks absolutely ludicrous, these criteria that they've laid out for anyone to be able to broadcast this game. Um, and the thing is that gets me <clears throat> about this <clears throat> is Atlas did the same thing for Persona 5, what was it, three years ago? And even then, they couldn't follow their own criteria. What I mean by that is back when Persona 5 came out, they had these strict limitations. You can only record and stream the game up to a certain point, right? Um, you know, and it was like, okay, so basically everyone had to abide by those criteria or else you had the chance that you were going to get copyright strikes from Atlas. <clears throat> if you guys remember, I did follow those criteria. And I still got copyright strikes from Atlas. <laughs> against my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. <laughs> And it was hilarious because I was talking to the Western team, the Western social media team about it. You know, those who speak English and are stationed in the United States. And even they didn't know what was going on. They were like, yeah, your content abided by the rules laid out by Atlas Japan, yet they still give you strikes because they obviously don't know what they're doing. And it's like, at this point, <clears throat> with the way that they, 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 they do business, I don't really see the point in moving forward and playing Atlas games like this because it's too much of a risk, quite frankly. What the fuck? Oh, hi! Stop begging and get a job. Alright, thanks. Appreciate that. It's hilarious because some people say the king of retro like it's a joke, right? Uh, yeah, the king of retro, when I say that, I'm usually referencing good games. All I can taste is the saltiness. You know, when I think king of retro, I think old school Street Fighter, classic Mario platformers, uh, Zelda, you know, those are the games I grew up with as retro games. Donkey Kong 64 is just outdated. It's not retro, it's just bad compared to modern standards. You could play those other games, and they still hold up today. Donkey Kong 64 does not hold up in any way, shape, or form. It is an insanely outdated chore of a game, okay? <clears throat> That's the difference. Not all retro games are meant to be classics that are timeless. You see what I mean? Um, so, that's my opinion anyway on the game, but we're gonna keep going. Alright, we're gonna try to finish it. I'm the worst gamer on the planet. I need to raise tips. I need to raise money. Because my tax guy is requiring me to prepay for him to file my taxes this year, and he wants me to pay him by March 1st, all right? I don't have the money for it, all right? All my money has been going towards all the other things I needed to pay normally, like my mortgage, like tax payments, and things like that that I've been doing recently. Um, in fact, I gotta make another tax payment to the state this month, somehow, between now and the end of the month. Um, but I need to prepay this guy, and I don't have the money for it, so... This special event, very matter-of-factly, is to raise the money to pay this guy so he'll do my taxes. 
okay? If I can't pay him and he can't do my taxes, I'm screwed. If I don't file my taxes, I'm in mon monstrous trouble with the government. <clears throat> Fuck the IRS. You know, it's one thing if you can't pay your taxes and they roll them into a payment plan or whatever. I mean, worst case scenario, they put a lien on your house. But if you don't file, now you're really fucked. Now you're going to jail, basically. And uh, I can't do that. So I basically need to raise these funds via this special marathon at the end of the month. Tips. You know, it has to be tips because it has to be funds that I can use right away to pay this guy. So that's why I'm doing this special event. I hope you guys will join and contribute if you can. So that's the very tail end of the month. That's going to be Friday the 28th, okay? Phil constantly begs for money on his streams. Well, guess what? False. I will, in the, on a pre-stream, I will mention it. Maybe once or twice during gameplay, I'll mention tipping, and that's it. I'm not constantly begging for money. It's completely false. That's not criticism. That's slander. One final thing, guys, all right? And this is something that I've been bringing up recently on the streams, and I just want to bring it up again. I'm not against memes, all right? I'm not. I'm not against popular things that get re that get repeated or whatever. I'm not even against copy pasta. I'm not against any of that stuff, all right? But... There's a little thing called moderation, okay? Fuck off, piece of shit. Suck my ass. Suck a turd right out of my butt. How about that? Suck it. Suck the turds. <laughs> Fuck you. And I think that a lot of people have issue with it. Because some people, sadly, don't know when they're going overboard. And some people don't know when they're derailing. It's 100% against my, my, my stream rules here to derail the stream. If I'm streaming, <clears throat> and 99% of the stuff that comes out of your mouth is about a different streamer, you're derailing the stream. If I'm streaming and you're spamming constant copy pasta over and over and over to get attention because you're some kind of a, you know, like a little incessant kid trying to say, mommy, 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 pay attention to me, mommy, mommy, you're derailing the stream, all right? And I think that sadly we've been too lenient on people derailing the stream recently, and now people think that it's just fair game to come in here and completely derail my stream constantly, and it's not, all right? If I see someone who's literally just talking about another streamer constantly, you're going to get banned. I'm sorry. It's always been against the rules. I've just been way too lenient about it. I'm just going to fucking ban everybody. <laughs> and now we got people, sadly, who are uh, abusing it. And in particular, you know, the other night I'm streaming, literally half the discussion in the stream chat's about another streamer. It's your fault, asshole. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to talk about that streamer. I don't care about them. They have nothing to do with me or my content. The fact that you keep bringing them up is just frustrating as shit because I'm trying to put out an entertaining stream for my viewers and I got to have half the people in here being dicks, basically. Um, and I'm not going to put up with it anymore. All right? I'm not. So if I see people bringing this stuff up constantly, it's one thing, okay, I want to use a Rings of Redemption meme. I want to use an LTG meme. Fine. All right. I want to use, uh, you know, this meme every once in a while to make a joke. Fine. I want to spam Phil's chat constantly just talking about Wings of Redemption and asking him questions about Wings of Redemption. You're a loser. <laughs> wow. Oh, you're going to get salt, 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 salt. It's, oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. Sorry, you are. You're obsessed with this fucking guy? You need a life? You need to move on and leave the fucker alone, first of all. And you need to stop derailing my stream. I'm just not putting up with it anymore. If I see too much of it, you're getting the fuck out. I'm just not putting, you know, I'm just, that's it. I've laid down the law. It's always been against the rules. I got too nice. <clears throat> okay. You show your toxic jealousy and just how petty you fucking are when you react to something like that. Um, and it's very frustrating. I'm trying to put out an entertaining stream to my viewers and I got to put up with this nonsense. A bunch of, you know, the thing is it's not everyone, but the people who do it know who they are. They do it on purpose. They want to get attention. They've probably already been banned from these other streamers' chats, so they can't do it in there, so they come to a different streamer to do it to get their fucking attention. Well, you're not going to get it here either. You're going to get permanently banned and I don't give a fuck. Oh, by the way, if you're not aware, they changed the rules here on Twitch now. If you get banned from a channel, Twitch will automatically ban your IP, meaning if you come back with a new account and you try to talk, no one will be able to see you spamming crap and no one will care. Oh my god, it's terrible. So, basically, you're going to want to be a little bit more careful of what you say and do in my streams, because if you get banned, you're out of here for good. You're not going to get these duplicate accounts and these dummy accounts coming in being able to spam nonsense anymore. Uh, a ban is a ban. <clears throat> okay, so, pay attention, and please listen to the rules. I'm not putting up with the derailing anymore with the crap like that. Yep, I'm toxic. All right, ridiculous amount of $1 troll tips today that I'm just going to completely ignore. Look at this. Wow, there's like all insulting stuff. This is great. Now here's an insult to a hundred bit cheer from someone called Tinker Tinkerson. And they say, uh, Phil 
you are doing well. Yes, healthy. My question is, why do you why do you up talk at the end of every sentence like a girl and you sound like my sister? Uh, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> this is a detractor meme from fucking idiots who love to make shit up to make fun of me. So they made up something else that has nothing to do with anything. I don't understand what the hell they're they're, they're saying here. Um, I, if I have a mannerism in my voice, great. I guess it came from me talking so long for eleven straight years. I don't know what the hell you mean by saying that I have a, a up tick in my voice every time I stop talking. I, I, I don't feel that I do. Uh, maybe I do, maybe I don't. <clears throat> but that's probably just a mannerism that I picked up. Um, the fact that people are complaining about it means you got too much time on your hands. Here you go. Another insult. Like, basically all the tips this morning have been insulting. Like, every tip this morning has been an insult. So I'm just gonna ignore this one too. Another moron. Might as well just ignore it, right? It, it, what it is, is probably like the same two to three people. I, I can't tell. But more than likely, there's like two or three people. They realize that if they like tip me a buck... They could basically just keep insulting me. Um, and so they do it every day. They'll tip a buck, a buck, a buck. It's something insulting, something derailing. So they try to ignore, annoy me uh, to the point where they'll, oh, yeah, uh, I'm really getting to him. Uh, sure you are. <laughs> no, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ignore your stupid shit and not read it. And you can look like an idiot. And uh, I move on. So there you go. Um, super blind man, what's going on, sir? He just did 100 bitch here. Thank you, man. He says, hey, Phil, no insult here. An honest blind guy question. Do you have a tendency to rock back and forth a bit as you talk? I'm asking because your voice increases and decreases in volume every second or so. No shade. I'm legitimately curious. Yes. Whoa. And it's because of my back. It's because of the back injury that I had years and years and years ago. Um, if I sit perfectly still and I don't really move, I actually feel uncomfortable. Um, I also have restless leg syndrome, which I don't know why they call it that. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But basically, if I don't move my legs... Or, you know, have them in a position where there's, like, it's like it, it feels weird to me. Like, I need to be moving. I don't know why. It's hard for me. When I'm sleeping, that's one thing. <clears throat> but outside of that, yeah, that's why you hear the volume maybe going up and down or whatever. I am. You're right. I'm rocking back and forth. Yeah! Woo! Right up my ass, baby. I love it. Whoa! I love that. Pain is pleasure. <laughs> um, and I don't, you know, it's, it's also... Kind of inadvertently, I don't know what's happening. I, I have the time I don't even realize I'm doing it. Um, but I do it automatically. It's just something that happened because of my, it was funny. I used to have this office job. I used to work at um, Wells Fargo Financial in the mid 2000s, and a couple of my coworkers started calling me Sway. I said, "Why are you calling me that? Because when you stand, you can't stand still. You're always like kind of moving back and forth a little bit. You never just like stand still and relax. Like you're right. I couldn't even back then, and that was before I was diagnosed with my back injury." I was the same way. I was like, had to constantly be like moving, adjusting. I couldn't just like stand still. Um, but that's how it is. Okay? <clears throat> that's how I am. <laughs> but that answers your question, I hope. It's probably more during the pre stream than anything else because in the pre stream, I'm just talking with you guys and reacting versus, uh, um, you know, when I'm uh, playing a game, I'm more hyper focused on the game and I don't really have to like. I'm, I'm concentrated on something, so it distracts me from from that that unconscious uh, uh, thing to to move. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a, an unconscious, subconscious thing. I gotta move. I gotta constantly move. My body doesn't feel doesn't feel right if I'm not moving. It's weird. It's just weird, but I have it. So, um, let's see here. Lunaba tipped me three dollars, so that's the top tip of the day so far. And they said, Phil, ignore the trolls. Looking forward to more crazy camera action in Donkey Kong sixty four. Oh yeah, crazy camera action. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 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 come on. So someone named Papa tipped me a dollar says, Well, I changed my name, so now it's not insulting. But I want to say, you said contributing isn't a competition, yet you have a leaderboard. I didn't say that at all. What I said is, uh, contributions are not mandatory. They're greatly appreciated. They keep stuff going. Obviously, I want people to get recognition for their contributions. And yeah, absolutely, people compete to get said recognition. But they're not mandatory. If you just come to the stream and hang out, and have fun. I don't, you know, don't feel like the odd man out. Don't feel like you're not welcome. That's not the case at all. Everyone's welcome, and everyone can have fun on my streams. That's what I say. So I don't know where you heard it's not a competition. Of course it is. There's anything. There's a leaderboard. There's a competition going on, right? So I don't know what you mean by that. I'm an evil, dirty, heinous scammer who steals money from little children. Phil <laughs> has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly. Milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. By eBay. Contributions are mandatory. 
but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>